I heard this movie was wild, but nothing could have prepared me for that. Saltburn is the brand new movie that came out in November of 2023 that I was not very interested to see when I first saw the trailer and first heard about it, but then I saw the buzz from this film and I heard that it was absolutely wild and insane. When I first saw the trailer, I thought it was a romantic comedy. I don't know how I got that vibe. I'm not big in the romantic comedies, but then I started seeing some stuff on Twitter and some people talking about this movie, and boy was I wrong. I then realized it was a thriller and a black comedy, and that is perfectly what I want in a movie. And so I decided to check it out when it dropped on Amazon Prime. So I sat down, I turned it on, I didn't have many expectations except for seeing a tweet that you need to be ready for a bathtub scene. And I began watching this movie. And right off the bat, I could tell I did not really know what this movie was about. I was completely wrong about it being a rom-com. There's really no romance in this movie at all. It's actually about this guy who supposedly has a crappy family life at home. His dad passes away. He's struggling with a lot of things in his life. He doesn't have a lot of friends and he works really hard to befriend one of the most popular kids at Oxford at his new school. This movie is deep down about friendship is what your first thought process is while watching it. And you see as these two grow as friends, as they have each other's back, and as they really care for each other, they are true good friends to one another. And then when it is revealed that the main character, Oliver, that his father has passed away, his friend Felix decides to let Oliver come back to his home, Saltburn, with him this summer. This is where the movie starts to get wild. At first you're thinking, everybody in this movie is per perfectly normal. Yeah, Oliver might be a little weird, a little antisocial, but he's trying, he's making friends, and the better is coming for him. You think, wow, Felix is a great kid, he's gonna bring Oliver in, they have a great friendship, this is a wonderful movie, it's a beautiful story. And then we get to Saltburn, and things start seeming a little bit weird. Um, for instance, all the characters are acting stranger, including our two main characters. Felix's whole family has a little bit of weird, quirky things about them. Felix's cousin seems to have it out for everyone, mostly Oliver. And you're starting to feel, is this a get out type vibe of a movie where Oliver is the main character and Felix and his family are the white family in Get Out? And does Oliver need help? Like, what's going to happen? Are these people going to, like, eat him, attack him, destroy him? I'm having all these weird thoughts in my head about what could happen next. And then, as you're watching, more scenes start to happen and more is revealed in this story. And that famous bathtub scene happens and you have to look away because it's very disturbing. And many other disturbing scenes happen and Oliver starts to get picked on more by the cousin and he starts to get closer to the rest of the family like the mom and you see these relationships starting to build. He starts to have feelings toward Felix's sister which is wrong because you can tell Felix doesn't want that and there's other things at play. and. Lots of weird things are happening, and through all these events, you start to think, maybe it's not the Saltburn family that's weird. Maybe it's Oliver that's weird. And even though we've been following this character along for the whole movie as the main character, do we really know who he is? And then more starts to unravel as you realize that his backstory is not real. His family is not this horrible family, but really this really loving middle class family. His dad is actually alive. And all these things start to unravel and you realize it is Oliver who is the weirdo. He's been pulling the strings all along. What is happening? And through all these different plot points are starting to come together and through all these different scenes that can be disturbing and chilling and interesting and make you laugh and make you scared this movie really starts to build a very interesting atmosphere not only is the atmosphere it builds very interesting but the shots that this film has 
are mesmerizing to look at. This is some of the best camera work of the year. This movie is truly spectacular and a crazy ride to go along on. I don't want to get into the ending of this movie in case you haven't seen it. I know I've already given off some spoilers, but if you just scroll through social media for a little bit, you will find spoilers in this movie because it is really taking off. It is very popular right now. And I just think that this is one of the best works that we've seen this year. If I have to give this movie a score out of 10, I'm going to go with an 8.5 out of 10. It may not be the best movie, but the sense of dread and the sense of despair that this movie can create while also making you feel happy that these kids are friends and making you feel scared for other characters and making you feel just disturbed by what these characters are doing and every single character can give off every different emotion. It's an spectacular ride to be on. If you haven't seen this movie, I highly recommend that you go check it out. It truly is one of the best films of the year. And I saw a short list of movies that are getting Oscar buzz and I saw this movie is not on there. Compared to other movies I've seen this year that are on there, this movie deserves the love, it deserves the praise, and I'm, hopefully, I'm hoping that that kind of switches up and this movie gets some award ceremony, award season buzz because it truly does deserve that. Thank you all so much for watching my review and I hope you enjoyed. If you liked this video, please leave a comment down below telling me what you thought about the movie and leave a like on this video and subscribe to my channel. It helps me so much. Thank you all so much for being so supportive and being so enthusiastic about my channel. Thank you and have a great day. Okay.